Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I need to help you out. We're coming towards the end of this fusion, or I guess we're, we're kind of like right in the thick of it, and we've got a whole load of stuff coming at us. And honestly, I'm going to show you a silver hack, which could be the difference between you earning fusions or not. It's, it's absolutely a game changer. I'll be honest with you, I do not use it very often. I don't use it often because it's quite a time sink. And normally I'm just an impatient guy, but I am very short on silver, 2.2 mil. I don't have loads of resources to kind of get myself more. Yeah, I will earn more silver over the next few days anyway, just playing the game and doing the other things that I've got to do. But ultimately we need to give ourselves a bit of a head start when we're coming to like the third artifact event and, you know, big silver costs ahead of us. So I'm going to show you a cheeky hack, which has been around for a long time. and. I know that a lot of kind of like committed free to play players will do this all the time during fusions. It could literally be the difference between an artifact event costing you 20 mil silver and an artifact event costing you like five mil. It's that, it's that vast. The difference is huge. So we're going to talk you through it here today. I do want to call out, uh, I've actually pinched a presentation here from Bell. I don't know if Bell actually still plays the game. It's, it's a while since. Uh, I've seen content from Bell, but Bell put out a video on this like two years ago. It was a brilliant video. It's really well explained, and I'll link that down below. And on that video, she's got this presentation, which uh, she's kind of left as open for people to utilize. And it's a really good presentation, which explains the whole system incredibly well. But what we're going to do, I'll show you it in, in action first. I'll then talk through what's going on and try and kind of like guide you through what you need to do. So the first thing we're going to try and understand here is how much is it going to cost me to upgrade this banner, which upgrading a banner from level 15 to 16 could be one of the biggest costs in the game. Any artifact, like in terms of accessory, they are basically the most expensive things to upgrade, okay? But they're also going to earn you some juicy uh, artifact upgrade points if you take them from like 15 to 16 or from 11 to 12, but mainly 15 to 16. That's where you really get the big points. But every single try is 49,000. Okay, I've actually run into, <laughs> I wanted to show you like this cool trick. I could tell you 100% that this is only gonna take me one roll, one lot of 49,000 to upgrade this piece. I thought it was gonna be more, normally it is. This one is an instant upgrade. I know that 100%. Make sure you ticked instant upgrade off I'm going to take it up one level now using the blue button. It is only going to cost me 49,050 silver, guaranteed. Done and done. See, that cost me 49,050 silver, and that has just got me a ton of points in my artifact event. But I knew the future before the future came about. Let's take another six star piece that I would want to use. I'm going to take it up to. Instant upgrade it up to level eight, nine, ten. Okay, so when you start going beyond level 10, that's when this piece will start to sink in with other pieces, and I'll explain that in a minute. But from this point, I'm taking instant upgrade off, and again, I'm going to try and predict the future. What I'm going to do here is turn my internet off. See, I've got my internet settings here. Um, I've just disabled my internet for a second. And I hit upgrade one more level. Okay, so it said one, two. On the third try, it, it hangs. And that's actually when this piece would have upgraded. So it's going to take me three tries to upgrade this piece from level 10 to level 11. And each upgrade, each, each of those three tries is going to cost me 28,000 silver. Okay. What I'm going to do now, before I turn my internet back on, I'm going to find a cheap piece to upgrade. So I'm going to look for a five star epic piece that I've currently got at level 10. I've still got my internet off. Five star epic piece at level 10. And I'm going to see, now it won't be more than three. But I want to see how many times it, it takes me to upgrade this piece at 13,000 silver a try. So we hit the upgrade one level. One, two, three, exactly the same, right? So. What we can do now in a cheeky trick is turn our internet back on. Remember, this is costing me 13,000 silver per upgrade. Turn my internet back on, enable it, 
on my settings. See this? Enabled now. I'm going to hit the upgrade one level, but then I'm going to cancel after two rolls. One, two, hit cancel. Okay. I've burnt two of my three are burnt, which means I'm guaranteed now on that piece that I actually want to upgrade the six star piece. I'm guaranteed that this is going to upgrade in one because I've burnt the two fails already on a different piece, which was cheaper to upgrade, almost half the cost to upgrade. Burnt them, gonna hit upgrade here, put my internet on, and then bam, we've got our guaranteed level. It's cool. I'm now gonna disable my internet again, and then I'm gonna hit upgrade one level here again to see how much it's gonna cost me to, to burn from 11 to 12. So again, we count along. One, two, three, four, Five. It's going to take me six turns this time to upgrade, and each of those turns would have cost me thirty-one thousand eight hundred per roll. Per roll, okay. So we clear this. So we know that's going to take us six turns. We go back to our piece that we're using as our, our kind of like a, a cost saver, if you like. Oh well, this is basically now. Is it like a third? A third of the cost to do these rolls. So we know it's six for our main one. We have upgrade one level one. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, it's, it's coming at the same, same amount this time. Perfect. So we're going to burn five fails on this cheap piece. Going to enable my internet again. Just enabled it. Going to burn five fails. One, two, three, four, five. Hit cancel. Then I go to my piece that I actually want to upgrade. And we're now going to hit the upgrade button. It's going to take me one turn to upgrade it. And I've just saved myself literally hundreds of thousands of silver. Upgrade, one turn, beautiful. So you do this all the way up to, to level 16 on the pieces that you want. Only do it on stuff you want, by the way. If you're doing it on stuff you don't want, then it's, it's completely wasting your silver anyway. But this will save you literally tens of millions of silver. It's a crazy trick. And let me try and explain the groupings here because this is what I, I'd say Belle does extremely well. Uh, and on her spreadsheet, she's got this laid out incredibly uh, well detailed. So a couple of things to, to call out. Firstly, and I actually made this mistake whilst recording this the first time round. I wasted already, trying to show you this, I wasted about 3 million silver. I'll be honest with you. Because I forgot to untick instant upgrade when I was doing my disabling and stuff. I was like, wow, these, everything's upgrading in one turn. This is amazing. It wasn't amazing. I was wasting my silver before I actually cottoned on to what the hell was going on. Make sure you turn off instant upgrade. That's the first thing. Okay. Second thing is the blue button versus the yellow button, it does two different things within the game engine. So the blue button is actually not random. The blue button is basically saying it will take you every single time with Items which are grouped, and I'll talk about that in a minute, it will take you exactly um, the same amount of time every time you try and upgrade that piece. Yeah, and we, we've seen it there. We've seen that it works. The yellow button is a completely random attempt to upgrade every single time. So it will not fall in line with what's going on in the blue button. If you're going to use this trick, forget the yellow button exists. Okay. The second thing to understand is the groupings of items. And the reason why this is important is because you need to make sure that you're, you're spending your, your tries on pieces which are cheap. Yeah, you're burning away the fails on cheap stuff so that you can then enhance expensive stuff that is also going to get you good points in an artifact enhancement event. And I guess let's just talk to that for a second because this is a, an important part of why we're doing this. We've got all of the information down the bottom here. Like six star pieces versus five star is about an additional 50% worth of points per, per your silver spend. Yeah. So taking six star pieces up will get you to the maximum rewards much quicker. And obviously, five star over four star. Again, you're talking like, uh, again, like what, 30 odd percent more points versus what you get in five star over four star. So you want to be taking stuff up that you actually want, but ideally, you want to be focused on. Leveling the six star stuff, using five star stuff to burn attempts, because five star stuff is considerably cheaper 
and six star. It actually doesn't matter. I, I thought it did, but it doesn't matter whether you're finally leveling up like accessories or main gear. So main gear is cheaper than accessories to level up. So you probably would want to, if you can, go into your pieces and uh, so go into your filter here and I would just filter six star pieces. Yeah, just if you filter six star, I mean, you could even start by saying, right, six star legendary. Is there anything here that I want to take up to max because it's going to help my, my gear out? Yeah. And it might be that I decide that this is, it's not, but I might be decide like this is a great piece for me to level up. Okay. So you want to be focused on stuff you want to level, but ideally six star and higher rarity is, as we see, or oh, does rarity matter? No, rarity doesn't matter either, does it? It's just star rating. Actually, it's just star rating. It doesn't even matter about rarity, but it does matter about rarity for the trick, I guess. So it, you have to have, for this trick to work, for these items to be grouped, the pieces have to be five star or above in terms of their rank and at least epic and above. Okay, so you need, you need five star and above, so five or six star, epic or legendary, and they need to be level 10 or higher for them to be grouped in the same groupings and to, for that trick to work like I've just shown you. That's a really important part, actually. Yeah, so five star and above, epic and above, and level 10 and above. And obviously, it's much cheaper to keep a piece on the side, which is a level 10 five star piece, than it is if you were, if you were using like a level 10 six star legendary piece, for example. It's much cheaper to use this as kind of like your burn type of piece. Okay, so it's, it's definitely worth kind of bearing that in mind as well. But all of these, all of these items are grouped in the same grouping in terms of burning failed chances. And and uh, what Belle's done here is she's just kind of like given a group of things which wouldn't work. So less than level ten, not working. A four star piece, not working. A five star rare piece, not working. Common piece, not working. Uncommon, not working. Yeah. So she's just kind of given some examples of what don't what doesn't work, but Anything five star and above, epic and above, level 10 and above, they all form the same group. And yeah, it basically goes on here to kind of talk about what I've just shown you. So how it actually works uh, and yeah, how you, how you want to kind of make it work. I've shown you that anyway, so, but I will reference this down below if you just want to kind of like read up if you're, if you're finding it difficult to use. She then actually goes on, and I think this is a really interesting slide to show, so I'm going to talk on this as well. A second way that she saves silver, and it's a really relevant one, she's basically saying that you get a lot more value from the bottom row gear pieces, gloves, chests, and boots, than you do top row. Because especially if these are percentage-led items, you just get a lot more stats for your money on bottom row. Whereas top row, and I do this a lot actually, top row can easily just be left at level eight or 12 and get a decent amount of value as long as the substats on those pieces Makes some sense. And similarly here, she says, you know, for banners, you get a lot more bang for your buck on a banner. Um, sorry, for accessories, you get a lot more bang for your buck on a banner or something like a crit damage amulet than you would say a ring or, you know, an amulet which has got like HP on it or something like that. So she basically saves silver by just thinking a little bit before she upgrades a piece. So I think we're going to leave it there. The, the other thing which I will call out here in terms of a silver saver or a silver gainer is the forge. So you know, I'm not really fussed about high level resilience gear. And right now I'm, I'm more fussed about gaining silver. So actually what I do here is I just craft the lowest level in full. I'm just like spamming it. I don't even care about the pieces that come out as much as I can. And all I'm doing here is literally like, it's costing me 10K to make these pieces. Um, exception I do actually care about. Any stuff that I've been getting from the Doom Tower, I'm not using any of my glyphs or anything like that because I don't want to waste them. But you can see here, so far I've spent 40k. Yeah, let's just keep this going. 40k, let's just do ones I can do tens of. 50k, 60k, 70k, Slayer stuff. Again, like, I don't really care about this level. I care about this level and maybe this level. So I could just spam one 10 row of this. I don't want to, I don't want to use the resources that I need for this. So leave it at that. So what's that? 60k I've spent so far. Okay, we'll leave it there. 60k I've spent so far in forging items. Okay. You're better off doing it through a plan v clan if you can, but right now it's kind of like dire, dire straits, right? So what I do here is I filter just new. 
You can see it's all the pieces that I've just made. I then filter rank and rarity and just pick up all of the new pieces, hit sell, hit select all. I've just turned 60K into 1.3 mil or, or 1.27. So I've gained 1.2 million silver just from spending two minutes in the forge getting rid of the stuff that's just a waste of time. Now, depending on your account level, you might have wanted some of those four star pieces. You might have sold off all the three star and then just grabbed the four star and had a look through the legendary pieces, maybe on the epic pieces. There definitely might have been a couple of bits in there for you know your faction war teams, that type of thing. I just wanted to show you the extreme okay, of, of how quickly I can gain a chunk of silver. I then go back into my trick and you know I've got a bit more silver in the bank to try my trick. So again, disable my internet, hit my upgrade one level, and I'm like, one, two. It's going to take me just two tries to do this. And this is where some people, uh, which is a fair comment, might be like, oh my God, this is taking so long. But if silver is tight, it's worth doing. I get my burn piece and just check how many times it's going to take me to upgrade now. It always resets every time you've done the upgrade. So again, one, two, it's the same. Uh, so far, every time it's been the same for my burn piece. But we enable the internet back on and I'm going to burn my one fail at 13K. Hit cancel so we don't end up leveling that one up. And then I go back to my piece that I'm actually leveling. And it's going to take me one upgrade now at 35K. I've just saved 22,000 silver um, just by spending a bit longer. Yeah. Turn the internet off. We're going to see how long this one takes. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to take eight attempts to level up at 40k a pop. So we go back to our burn piece and we just check how many times this is going to take to upgrade one level. Just one. Okay, this is where it, it's actually changed. So that's going to take just one turn to upgrade one level, that's still going to burn one of my eight attempts, okay? So what I can do is I could look, do I have another piece at level 10? Because I could take that up a level and then keep going with, it's still burning. And in fact, I'll show you, I'll show you as the example, actually. Let's turn my internet back on. This one's only going to take me one turn. It's still going to burn one of my eight attempts, okay? So I turn my internet back on. It's going to upgrade straight away, which means I've still got seven burn attempts left. I do not want to take this up to level 12. And it might be that you decide to keep that piece lower level just for the silver hack. But anyway, it's now going to go from level 11 to 12. I've, I should have seven. In fact, we can test it. I should have seven burn attempts still needed for this. So let's just recount this one. It should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, it's working like a dream. And um, okay, so we know that's going to still be seven. So I can now go back to my cheat piece, see how many times this would take to upgrade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's never going to be more than your, your bigger tier piece. Okay, so seven again. So again, on this one now, we can burn the other the other upgrade tries. So what we're going to do is burn, let's turn my internet back on. Just going to burn six fails here at 15k ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, cancel. So I've burnt my six fails at 15,000 a pop. And then instead of spending 40,000 a pop, I'm spending one try at 40,000. So I've just saved myself six times 25,000. And it upgrades. Yeah, it's literally in times like this when fusions are, are tight, it is an absolute game changer, but it is time consuming. So up to you if you want to get involved in it or not. And I do just want to call out again, thank you for the original video from Bell because it's really well explained and really well done and uh, yeah in, in massive detail. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades free to play. I'll see you later.